Alright class, um, we actually did the guess and check method previously. Now I'm going to show you the method using drawing. It's uh, actually based on supposition, but this is uh, the same thing using drawing. Now, if you have 12 motorcycles and cars, okay, they say that there are 28 wheels altogether. Same as the previous question. First, we need to identify the total number of items, that is 12 motorcycles and cars. We draw 12 circles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Once you've drawn these 12 um, circles, we are yet not yet sure how many motorcycles and cars are there, right? We assume, we guess that they are all motorcycles. That means we choose the item that has less wheels first. Okay, whichever kind of question you do for this, you choose the one with the less items. So motorcycle has only two wheels, cars have four wheels, so we choose motorcycles. We make all of these 12 things become motorcycles. So what do we do? We actually draw lines. Motorcycles have two wheels, so we draw two lines. So we draw two lines for all of them. And we count the number of wheels they have altogether. Some of you can use two times table because they have two wheels for each one, right? So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, sorry, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So there are 24 wheels if they are all motorcycles. But then we got a problem. If all of them are motorcycles, there are 24 wheels, we have a problem because they are supposed to be a total of 28 wheels. So we take the total of 28 wheels, we minus the 24 wheels we have now, we actually need to have draw four more wheels. So who does these four wheels belong to? They belong to the Yes, cars. So cars have four wheels. What do we have to do? We will use another color pencil. So what we will do is, we will draw two more wheels for each of the additional ones. So what do we do? We have one, two, three, four. The four more wheels, we have drawn them down. So the ones that have four wheels now, four lines, they are the cars. So there are how many cars? Two cars. And the rest are all motorcycles. But it is not enough to just do this. It is good to label. So C for cars. We have one, two cars. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten motorcycles. Okay. Lastly, we write the word sentences. There are ten motorcycles. There are two cars. This is the way you do drawing method. But be warned, you should only use the drawing method if the number here is less than 20. If it is more than 20, the numbers you will have to draw are way too big. It's too difficult. Okay, and you can only use this method when you are given two totals. There are to total number of motorcycles and cars, and they give you a total number of wheels. You can only use it for this kind of drawing. Alright, see you. Bye-bye.